From the ranch to the rodeo, this is The Short Go. Hey guys, so last week I was taught a great lesson while dealing with a weak calf that we had saved out of the cold and the mud. Um, we had a big winter snowstorm and ended up finding this calf separated from her mom. Had to bring her in, clean her up, dry her off, give her some food out of the bottle. And after we taught her how to drink from the bottle, it was time to reintroduce her to her mom and hopefully let mom take over the feeding duties. Um, after getting her out to the barn, that did not go nearly as easily as I had hoped it was going to. After a lot of struggling and the calf fighting against me as I was trying to get it to latch onto its mom, I had to resort back to giving it the bottle. Better than nothing. Um, but I figured next time I would just would get mom in and try it again. But it was the same story with the calf, doing everything it could to resist my attempts to drink from its mom. I was getting very frustrated um, with the calf and with myself at this point because I knew I wasn't handling this trial very well. Um, so I had to stop. I stopped and I prayed about what God was trying to teach me through this trial and that he would let the calf be able to get the nourishment it needed from its mom. Uh, the answer that God gave me to this was patience. I needed to stop, slow down, and not get so worked up over this struggle. Romans 12.12 12. It says to rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. Uh, this verse and the experience with this calf really reminded me how as Christians, we need to patiently wait on the Lord and remember that no matter what we are facing, that might be a rough patch in life, it might be a struggle with certain individuals that you have to deal with, or maybe the plans for your life that didn't go nearly as you had hoped or on the time frame that you were hoping but we need to wait and instead of overreacting and letting it cause us to get angry and frustrated and, and sin in our anger we need to call on the Lord in prayer we need to rejoice in the hope that he will see us through in his perfect timing and direction and I also encourage you guys to look for those teachable moments as you go through each day. Maybe it's a blessing that God is showing you. Maybe it's a trial and you need to stop and say, okay, God, what can I learn through this? What are you trying to teach me? How are you growing me in my walk with you? And I just hope that, that you'll look at those moments and let God teach you and help let him grow you in your faith and you and walk closer and more trusting with him. And in turn, this will be a great opportunity that you can teach others with a testimony of the work that Christ is doing in your life. So remember Romans 12, 12, to rejoice in hope, to be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. And another verse that just sticks out in my mind over patience is Colossians chapter 13, verses 12 and 13. I'm sorry, Colossians chapter 3. It says, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgive them. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. So no matter what you're going through, Maybe it's just a trial between you and a calf. Maybe it's just something in your life, but maybe it's something between you and somebody else. Forgive, be patient, wait on the Lord for his time in his direction. And I was just thinking of how a lot of times we're like that calf and we're not trying to get the nourishment that God's giving us and the patience that he has with us. So I hope this will be encouragement that you guys can learn from the struggle that I went through and that you can grow in your walk each day. God bless and happy trails.